Hi loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today in our space, we're gonna be doing some sunflower DIYs. Everything that you see here came from Dollar Tree except for the spray paint. And the first thing we're gonna be using is this trifold bowl. It is a plastic bowl that has like a candlestick stand on the bottom of. Now these bowls come over in the fancy plastic wear section where they have like the silver colored silverware and stuff and all the clear fancier um, plates. All of my Dollar Trees have them right now. Also, we're gonna be using some clothespins from Dollar Tree. I have four packs of these all together, plus these sunflowers. Now they come in like a yellow with orange center. They come in more of an orangey one and they come in white ones. So we're gonna use kind of this traditional colored one. And then we also have some gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree black and white or buffalo check whatever you want to get you can use i'm using the thinner ribbon they have it in thicker because i'm going to be putting it on the outside of this bowl and i don't want to cover up all the other fancy stuff that i'm doing then we're going to spray paint the trifle bowl and the clothes pens once we take them apart with this rust-oleum two times the paint and primer in a flat white spray paint so let's get started Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take apart all of our clothespins. We're going to pull them off and remove the metal piece. I did this by twisting them. I'm going to take apart an entire bag of these. I don't think I'm going to use all of those um, clothespins, but like I said before, we're going to spray paint this trifle dish. And I'm actually only going to spray paint the bottom and make sure that the stand and the bottom of it is opaque. And I'm not going to do the sides because you're not gonna be able to see the sides. And I spray painted the clothespins, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is gonna take each one of these individual clothespins and we are going to glue it to the side of the trifold dish with the long side of the clothespin facing up, like the long flat part on the inner portion and the part that has all the little notches on the bottom so that the Clothes pens kind of look like they're pointing up. We're also gluing them down on the non flat side. As you can see, one side of the clothes pen is mainly flat with a little notch in it, and the other side has more of a bumpy side. We're gluing down the bumpy sides. And I'm only putting dots of hot glue where the clothes pen is going to meet on the trifle dish, and it looks like that. So you're going to do that all the way around, and I'm not sure exactly how many clothes pens I thought I was gonna use for this, but I think there's 48 pieces on this altogether, like 24 clothes pens, 36 come in a pack. Now, this whole thing is food safe because it was made for food, but I would suggest if you're gonna put food inside of it at all, you use things that are not like liquidy or creamy or whatever, do solid things like cookies and candies and stuff. So I'm taking this gingham and I am placing it around this dish just to give it some interest and to bring in that black and white color because my kitchen has black and white in it and I'm going to glue it just above where that indentation in the clothespins are. I just think it gives it another texture and another thing of interest and I think it's really cool that I have that line going around there and if you wanted to you could put like a thin twine around in that line to give another color to it if you want it but I think with the sunflower color and the black and white and the white clothespins I have enough color going on if I had some orange twine or some yellow I might have did that I think I actually have some um, yellow and white baker's twine so I could add that in later but I like it with just the buffalo check right now. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out where I want my um, sunflowers. These are gonna go on um, in four different areas. I decided to do four of them all together. And as I go along crafting, you guys know, sometimes I don't have a plan and I just make it up as I go along when I'm doing these videos for you guys. So here at first I thought I did not want any of the leaves on there, but then it looked a little plain from the first one I put down. So I took and I cut off some of the leaves from the sunflowers and they come in like a three section 
um, together. So I cut off two of them and then I glued them down to this and then put a sunflower in the middle of it. And I think I like that better. I like the pop of green color along with this. So there you go. I also already have another color, so I don't think I needed to add some twine or Baker's twine or more color to this. So they're just kind of evenly spaced all the way around for four. You can see I put that one on and it's a little bit crooked, but I go back and I fix that here in a second. I could tell that one of them was a little bit off. So I pull it off and because it wasn't quite dry yet, I'm using my um, high heat glue gun by Ryobi. So that glue is forgiving and it lets you just uh, move it around for a second because it's so hot. I'm, and I'm using Gorilla Glue Stick so this will stay completely together. And once I get this um, little, you can see here, I'm sorry, I <laughs> cut it a little low on the back when I cut the stem part off so these would lay more flat and I had to re-glue that back side to it and once I get it all together like this I think it looks really really cute but you guys know it's not a lacy space DIY lately if I don't add some kind of butterfly to this thing so you can see on the inside it's still plastic you can add in anything you want from food to decoration it's a cute decor piece and stuff um, but I'm gonna put a butterfly on it. <laughs> I have these, they came from Dollar Tree as well. I've used them many times in, in a lot of my DIYs. They're 3D, the little plastic part on the top comes off of the actual sticker that it is on the back. So you can see the sticker's still there. I don't want that sparkly silver part on it for this DIY. I will save that for another one. So I'm just gonna glue down the plasticky part on here and it's already bent in because so, it looks like 3d on the sticker and it'll look really cute just here on the edge of my trifle dish and see it goes really well with the colors that I have so this is what this looks like I think it's really really cute you could use flatter flowers or different colors different kinds of flowers you could skip putting fake flowers on there all together and you could decoupage like pictures of flowers on it. I think that would be really, really cute. I'm just going to probably display it like this with this little gnome guy in there and a couple of little wooden houses that came from Target Dollar Spot a while ago. But I think this is a really cute thing to do. You could also make this and put it on the very top of a tiered tray and that will work as well. Okay, for this next DIY, we're going to take more of our clothespins and I already took them all apart and I'm going to put them back together but the opposite direction so I pulled out the little silver thing and then I'm gonna take the two sides that are the flattest that have only the one single little notch in them and I'm going to glue the bottom thickness the bottom thick part together on those you don't have to glue the top because the bottom is thick enough and long enough that it's gonna hold them completely together and they're not gonna come apart again I'm using Gorilla glue sticks in my high heat glue gun so it gives you plenty of wiggle room time to make sure that these go together really well you want to make sure that they're nice and flat and they're even so when you lay them down they're not like one's not higher than the other on one side I think I have 20 altogether. it might be 19 um, I know I counted it once you're done with gluing the sets together then you're gonna put them next to each other and glue the long ends together only the long ends. so we're gonna put hot glue down the side of the long end and then we're going to glue the other long end together so the tops where all the notches are don't have any glue on them and again you want to be really careful with this because you don't want them off you want them to be even and you want them to be flat. When I lay it down on the table, they should be flat. One shouldn't be higher than the other or crooked any kind of way. And you do have wiggle room if you use a high heat glue gun. If you're using a low heat glue gun with Gorilla Glue Sticks, they're gonna stick together a whole lot faster. It still can be done, but just take your time to do this. 
I'm going to do this in sections. So I do believe this is the last one I put on this section. And I'm going to make sure that it lays flat and that they're even. And then I'm going to do another section. And I'm going to just keep doing this. I think I have like six in that first section. You can do five, you can do four, whatever you're comfortable with. And try to get them as even as possible. Then once I get that section, to, you know, to four or five of them, I'm going to glue that section to the other section. I just found this easier instead of trying to handle gluing them all at the same time. Then I'm going to put that section down, make sure it's glued together really flat. You can rip these apart if they haven't been glued for a long time if you make a mistake, so don't worry about that. It is just a dollar DIY with Dollar Tree clothespins, but... I just took my time. This footage is sped up a little. And once I get this section together, then I'm going to glue it to the other section. When you get done with this, you're going to have a full circle. As you can see with these sections here, I have half of the circle. So now what I would do if I were you is to glue them together like you I did here on this section, a whole nother section. So where you have another half and then glue that half to that the, the half you already did that makes sense and you can see mine has a almost a perfect circle in the middle it's a little bit off if i was leaving this like this i would have been more careful to make sure it wasn't that little bit off but i know i'm going to put something over that circle and cover it up now you can leave this like this just like this or you can paint it or you can stain it and as you can see i'm going to put a white sunflower in the middle and it looks really pretty with these colors and you can leave it just like that but I had some leftover white clothespins from um, spray painting the other ones for the trifle dish and so I put two of those together and they fit perfectly in around here so we're gonna put all of those in and it makes for a bigger sunflower look and I think it's really really pretty with the two contrasting colors so like I said you can stain the wood you can seal the wood if you wanted to put this outside you could put all the clothespins together before you put the flower on and do spray sealant and it would weather real well outside or you could paint the um, clothespins a contrasting color. You could do three, four colors and three or four different layers on this, but I'm just going to do these two layers for this. So once I get them all in and I make sure that they all fit and none of them are odd, because remember these do come from Dollar Tree, so sometimes they're longer, sometimes they are bent sometimes something's wrong with them i just made sure that they all fit really really well i'm just going to pop them out one at a time put some um hot glue on one side of the long side that goes in and then glue them down and i'm going to change out my sunflower because i remembered i had these really big picks also from dollar tree they are actually clips and so I'm just going to take the clip off and glue that down to the middle of my little extra sun, sunflower um, clothespin. Kind of like a reef. It's a wall hanging, I guess you would call it. So I'm going to glue that down and then I'm going to glue all of these in just like that. And then this DIY will be done. And I have to tell you, my mother got a sneak peek of this and she's already claimed it. It's on its way to her house. I love how it turned out. It's simple. And like I said, you can do it in any colors you want and it will do well outside if you spray it with a clear sealant and then the weather won't get to it too bad. So after I did this one, I thought, hey, I would like to see one in natural sunflower colors. So I decided to put this one together a little bit differently. I didn't want you guys to have to go through the whole process of it all again. So I did my initial back to back on the flat side and then I glued some together like this. Uh, it's still back to back on the the odd side like how the clothespins are supposed to go together and I did the long ends that I glued together and then I glued them back together like they normally were just without the silver clip in it I hope that makes sense here I'm going to show you I'm going to lay them down actually on the reef how they are and maybe you can get a better visual but this is how the clothespin normally goes together that I'm gluing together I just took the silver piece out 
And so I have three different variations of how you can glue them together. And then we're going to glue those together with the long tips touching and the other one stuck down in the middle. I hope you can see that. It's hard to explain, but I'm gonna take it apart here and lay it out on top of the wreath. So the normal one that we made for the first wreath goes there. And then the one that I made where the end is wide goes next to it on one side and where it looks like a normal clothespin goes on the other side. And then you do one more of like the first one we did where the two flat ends go and you set that next to the side of the normal clothespin. And then that is your pattern. And you're just gonna repeat that all the way around. So I glue those four together just like that over and over again and then put all those sections together and then we're going to glue one of the orangey looking um sunflowers in the middle here and this one will be almost done because you guys already know i have to do a little bit extra to this because i'm a little bit extra and i'm only a little bit extra today because i can get out of hand if you're new to my channel you should know that i always say i'm extra i have a t-shirt that says i'm extra i'm gonna make another one that says i'm extra extra because that's my norm but today we're just extra so i'm gonna take some of this gingham here and i have folded it in half and i'm gonna make a hanger on here and i'm just gonna set it behind and decide where i want and then i made a little bow it's just a normal bow one you would tie like you so we're sort of like you were gonna tie your shoes except for it's just one piece of ribbon so i'm gonna turn this over and make sure that it's gonna lay down where you won't be able to see it and sorry i got out of frame a little bit but i'm just looking to not to smush my butterfly if you're gonna do this put the butterfly on after the flower is forgiving but i kept mushing my butterfly. I'm just going to glue it on the back with some hot glue just to bring that gingham into this project just like the first project and I think the colors go really really well. I like the black and white with the bright yellow. I didn't put one on the other um, wall hanging because my mom was like no I don't need the ribbon and I was like okay I'll just do this one like this. And um, then after we get this on, you're gonna see in a second, I'm gonna turn it over and we're just gonna put the bow on the top and that is going to be our hanger for this project. And I think it turned out really nice. I really like this for a wall hanging. You can make several of these different sizes because this one's a little smaller than the other one, but it's bigger than if you just would have did the center of the other one with the, the plain wood. And I think it turned out really really cute and that's my second sunflower you can however go without the ribbon and I think I like it this way better so I did take it off so I could show you guys how that looks with this option if you make a whole bunch of these and actually take some green stems and hang them down you can make them look like they're coming out of a pot also with maybe like some dowel rods it, the, in, the possibilities are endless for this one, but I really like making these kind of wall hanging sunflowers. So here is our last DIY. This is the easiest thing in the world to do. This is a ball from Dollar Tree. Everything's from Dollar Tree, except for my spray paint that I had, I guess, and my glue sticks. But we're gonna take a bunch of these flowers. Now I had five bunches of these all together when we started. I used one whole bunch on the first two projects, so I have four bunches left. What we're going to do is we're going to poke a hole in this ball and we're going to put all of the sunflowers all the way around. We're going to take them off the stems and we're going to take the green off as well and we're just going to poke them in. Some of them didn't want to poke in to the ball because it does have a glossy finish on it. So I took my Dollar Tree detail scissors and I poked a hole in there and I put some glue on it and then I put my sunflower on. I didn't cut any of the bottom off of it because that's the part that goes in. And where you might have been able to see the blue, I'm gonna put some of the leaves, but I decided to do that after I get all of the sunflowers on. So this is easy to do. Just put some glue on there after you poke some holes and then put the sunflowers in. And once that's done, we're going to make a hanger for it. 
and then we're gonna put some leaves in it now how I did the leaves on this I'll explain to you right here so you can kind of get the gist I'll show you in a second is they come in bunches of three like I said three leaves on there I fold the leaves over on top of each other and just cut them apart and make them a little bit smaller because I didn't want the leaves to look really big coming out of this so I'm gonna fold it all over here it's kind of fast but I'm just cutting them down smaller and then just making smaller pieces so in case I see some blue coming through there I can tuck some leaves in and, and glue them in so I, I'm gonna glue the rest of those sitting there in but who wants to watch me glue leaves nobody not really just put them in anywhere that you like because your ball might be you know solid white or solid yellow or something I just grabbed the first one I saw um, when I was in the store and I went hey I can spray paint it and then I decided not to spray paint it now I'm taking some more of that ribbon I folded it in half just to make a hanger and I took some gold floor wire because I had it on hand and I wrapped it around there and stuck it down in the ball and so now this hangs I did put some hot glue on it so it is glued into the ball I think this is really pretty they have these at home goods at home stores and stuff I ended up making mine for about five dollars I think it was a good deal and I love how it turned out you can hang this from all kinds of different things like a shepherd's hook or whatever I'm gonna keep mine in the house because it is fake flowers and I'm not gonna spray it with anything and this is hanging in near my living room from a really pretty shelf that I have so that's it for this video let me know in the comment section down below which was your favorite project I have to say I think I like the wall hangings but they all were really really nice and really really easy for me to do and if you want to see me do some more sunflower DIYs also let me know that down in the comment section so go ahead hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up with what I do I do a lot of high-end looking DIYs a lot of Dollar Tree DIYs and a lot of decorating on the budget also if you want to follow me over on Instagram it's Lacey Space the same way that it's spelled here I will be posting all the pictures of all of these DIYs over there eventually so that is it and I will catch all of you in my next video bye loves